Hi everyone, hope you're doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there's a story that was shared in the Nation newspaper, which is actually a very, very sad story, exposing the insecurity we are facing in this country in the hands of one William Samway Ruto. And actually, I can say this is the artificial creation of insecurity in the country. If you read that story, you will see how police officers are lamenting on how the national government has refused to disburse money. Actually, they are facing a cash crunch. You're talking about the money for operation. Like the, the police do not have money for operation. We are talking about fueling of cars. We are talking about buying of stationaries. And the worst is that we are talking about money meant to buy food for the Tainis. Tunaongea mambo ya shakahola, lakini Ruto ni kama anatengeneza shakahola ingine kwa jela. It was about governors getting money to run, to run county governments. We are talking about the, the health facilities getting money to buy medicine. We are talking about health, uh, health uh, staff not being paid salary. Now, Ruto is extending this one to the detention. Is it detention number one? Kwajela. So, prisoners are now going to starve from hunger. You jail some people, and it means it's the government that needs to provide food for these people. There are those who are in cells. Now you are in the hands of the state. Once you are in a court, you are in a cell, you are in a jail, you are in the hands of state. So the state is vulnerable to your health and well-being. But now, Ruto told us some time back that he was handing over the finance autonomy. Uh, 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 autonomy. He was handing over a finance autonomy to the police service. So, it is the interior ministry, it is the national police service. That means the uh, IG of police was going to be the accountant officer in that department. Atakuwa anapata pesa, anakuwa accountable for, so that he avoid all the delays that have been happening. That is what Ruto announced, and it was seemingly well received to sort out this problem so that they would never have any cash crunch. Actually, the opposite is happening. Let me just try to read the story so that you can understand what I'm talking about here. The story is here in the Nation News with the headline, oh my God. Grounded cars starving detainees as cash crunch hit police station. Look at that. Police officers have raised a red flag over delay disbursement of funds for operations and a failure uh, failed by the state to settle pending bills which may affect the feeding of suspect in sales should the suppliers withhold their services. Multiple interviews with the police bosses and accountants reveal a sad state of affairs where some officers are forced to fuel vehicles and buy stationaries out of pocket. Okay, so my, the whole story, you, you will get to know all what we are talking about. But you see, the person who, who, who published this story, he did not only visit one police station, but several, just to confirm if really the story is true. The truth is that police officers have to go back to their pocket to buy stationaries. The supplier appears. You get a call, there's an emergency somewhere, you need to respond quickly. Police officers go back to their pocket and buy fuel. Gari ya serikali. Police anatumia pesa yake kwa mfuko kununua mafuta to fuel the cash. 
Sasa pia polisi anatoa pesa yake kwa mfuko alishe mfungwa. Listen here. It is not only for one month, not two months. This story is not for four months. We are not talking about a story of five or six or seven months. It has been happening for the last ten months. Ruto alichukua ofisi nini? Kuna mambo mengine huru hapo na uwezo wa kushughulikia. Ilikuwa mwezi wa nane. We had election. So count from there. Nao tuko wapi? Tuko mwezi wa sita. So it means from the time there was change of God up to now Ruto has not check on the issue of police officers and the operation. I mean, this is the security of the country. It means we are at risk. If we can have robbery happening somewhere, then the police officers cannot be in a position to fill the cars and eh, respond to such a kind of emergency. Tell me where is the security of this country? Sasa wataweka mafuta na pesa zao waweka waweka paka watachoka sasa hata watu wako na hiyo pesa kuweka mafuta what will happen and not all police officers are doing this ni wale wako na mwito ndio wako na uwezo wa kuweka mafuta kwa hiyo gari na wakimbilia ile wakiwa wanaandika tu kama deni iko so what is the work of Kidura Kindiki what kind of advice is giving to William Ruto i'm seeing a president who is encouraging bribery Tumefika mahali sasa they want to start glorifying corruption because if officers are not in a position to, to to handle the operations what would they do it means they have to compromise to get what they want so that they can run the operations now corruption kicks in is not telling police officers to collect money from you for them to give service to you When we reach such a, a situation this is when you see some police officer collaborating with thugs. Soon utasikia kuna pesa ya kununua marisasi. Soon utasikia sasa hakuna mshahara ya polisi. <laughs> I don't know how Ruto is secured in the state house. Now he's touching on live wire. This one is live wire. How can you be sure of your security? of your government even when now you compromise the security of the country at our officer hawatakuwa na imani na wewe and when they lack faith in you what do you expect for the issue of starving detainees is a bombshell if you read this story to the end you will see police officers are now suggesting that they might not they they will they might consider not arresting suspect because they fear that they have nothing to feed the suspect once arrested utamulisha mawe na tayari akiwa kwa mikono ya polisi you are in the hands of the state ukiwa mgonja ni state iko honorable ukiwa ni njaa ni state iko honorable they must make sure that you are healthy you are fed and you are okay as you battle your case if you have anything to answer so kama tumefika mahali where police officers are now thinking of avoiding to arrest suspect <laughs> what do you expect ina maanisha watu wataanza kuiba huku nje wakijua ya kwamba hata nikiiba hakuna mahali polisi atanipeleka kwa sababu cells ziko full na ziko njaa watu wako njaa huko sasa hakuna vile tutapelekwa huko so what are you encouraging Ruto is encouraging insecurity in this country. Kuna shaka hola kwa 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 cells. Tuko na shaka hola kwa jela. Yenye metengenezwa na serikali ya William Ruto. I'm saying this because yesterday we saw the state organizing a national prayer day. Ukienda kuangalia ile budget ilitumika kutengeneza hiyo. <laughs> it's in millions of money. 
But the Chinese cannot have food because supply has not been paid for 10, 10 months. Now they are going to stop supplying. We saw William Ruth spending one year budget in six months time and he was requesting for supplementary budget. But police officers cannot afford stationaries. Watu watakufa njaha kwa jela. Nakini tunawana watu wanaunua magari mapia. The budget for new vehicle, brand new, in the office of the president, office of the, office of the deputy president, in the office of prime cabinet secretary. What are you telling parents? How do you convince people to believe this? Delegates going outside. Big, huge delegates. Mahali pakwenda watu watana wanaenda na watu tati. Wanataka mahali pakulala, wakule, transport and all that in millions of shillings. Then how do you make police officers to understand that there is no money? KRA is reporting that they are collecting money and they are hitting their target. What is the problem with this government? Hakuna siku tumesikia KRA wa kumbleni ya kwamba hawajafikisha ile kiwango ya pesa walitarajia kufikisha. Wanafikisha malengo. Ruto is touching on a live wire. Ilikuwa pesa ya waze, hakuna. Saizi kwa hospitali madawa, hakuna. Kaundi government hakuna pesa, kila mali hakuna pesa. Kwani hii serikali inapeleka wapi pesa? Are they pocketing everything or what is happening here? I'm lost. Kwa nini walishika makenzi? Ili hali kuna shakahola ingine pale kwa jena. Kwa nini wanaangaisha pasa zake ili amba alikuwa ana peana chakula kwa watu watulukana wanya wakona nja wakimwekelea makosa ya makenzi ya kuwa watu kupitia starvation when we are seeing another shakahola in a sales. Imetengenezo tuna serikali ya William Samoy Ruto. I'm lost.